There was a girl whose big dream was to study in an international school, to live in a campus and experience foreign cultures. But at the end of the day, she turned out to be just a dreamer. In fact, she never realized that all the opportunities out there in the world could be available for her one day. And she calmed herself thinking that this dream was too unrealistic for her to come true. But one day, this transparent glass barrier shattered. It happened when one of her friends actually took a step towards his dream, and as a result, he succeeded. He was admitted to one of the most prestigious international colleges in the world. And you know, this shook the girl to the core, like many questions rose in her head and remained unanswered. So, my dream wasn't as unrealistic as I thought, she asked herself. What would it be if I realized it earlier? In what way would it change my life? Is it too late? But wait, what if there is no need to rush at all? You may think this is a story of failure, a story of unfulfilled dreams, but actually, it's a story of awakening and somehow changing the mindset. Because it all starts in the mind. And this shift in perceptions also changed the girl's life to the core. And as you probably already have understood, that girl was me. So from that day on, I was convinced that if you want to change something around you, first of all, you should change the way you think and the way you approach challenges. And this also works in society. If we want to develop, we must reconsider our perceptions of some fundamental issues. Sometimes I feel very disconnected from the world. I'm not talking about the emotions which are too personal and may be associated with various circumstances. It's just I, as a youngster, as a part of society, feel myself in a confined circle in Armenia. You may say, this is normal, this is, this is the country and I live in, right? But when I see how young people from different parts of the world communicate with each other so actively, how many programs, opportunities they use in order to reach their dreams and goals, I just feel like we don't live our lives to the fullest and we overlook many benefits of life. And this is all because the restrictions that we have created for ourselves that often make just no sense. And I believe I'm not the only one to think so. And here comes the question, why are we so isolated then? You know, it's hard to give a definite answer, but one thing is clear, that the problem is deeply rooted in our minds and worldview. When I was in middle school, I remember that we were having a discussion about Armenian Highland and Armenian Plato, but I do remember that Karl Ritter, a famous German geographer, has given Armenian Plato a name, the Mountainous Island. And it seems like this name has a pathetic meaning for us even centuries later. We act like we are an island in this big, big world. But actually, no one is island, no man is island, and this refers to countries and nations as well. We are all, all human, we have the same needs, our feelings are the same, and it's just illogical not to use the beneficial experience of other nations in order to grow and prosper. So, why I am telling you all this? It's because even the best ideas coming from abroad are highly resisted in Armenia before being adopted. And one of these ideas is the idea of taking a gap year. Actually, I felt the need to talk about it when I realized during the conversation that many of my friends had no idea about it. And it is so unfamiliar and atypical for us that we don't even have the corresponding Armenian term. The problem is that even before we are born, a certain plan is drawn for most of us and we are to follow it. Deviation from this plan is mostly unacceptable. So, the child has to go to kindergarten, then go to school for 12 years, then go to university, graduate, get a job, and also not forget about getting married. Such great responsibility has been entrusted to us. We must not be mistaken. We must do everything on time. We must continue the work of our sisters, and the list could be continued. So, taking a gap here, it's just, a it's just a waste of time. You are losing a year, let's say. But why we are in a hurry, we do not know. 
Maybe it's just because we want to cram in as much as possible in order to be productive, but at what cost? Sometimes taking it slow can be more decisive than rushing into decisions. You know, taking gap here is beneficial. It's not a bad thing. We see that it's not a bad thing. Then why it is so unfamiliar to us and why people are being so judgmental when it comes to taking a gap year? Is it because we have a stereotype that everyone should go to university if he or she wants to achieve something, like some point of success, and if they don't do this, this means only one thing. They failed their entrance exams or just they didn't even try because they knew it would be a failure. But who said the only way of being educated is attending university? After all, there are so many formal and informal ways of education. And really, not everyone is going to be a doctor, lawyer, teacher, etc. And who said you should know what you want to do the rest of your life at that age? Like, what if you don't know? It is because of this stereotype that hundreds of students enter universities without even knowing what they want in life and why they study this or that profession. And you know, after a couple of years, they just end up working in a completely different field, starting just all over again. It also happens that when the students' grades aren't high enough to enter the faculty they desire, they just enter to a completely different faculty in order to just stay at university and maybe escape from criticism coming from public, friends, family. My point is to show you how some social norms can slow down and hinder the development of the nation. Maybe there were once significant, but times change, and that's why we must reconsider our perceptions. You know, it's not okay to be disconnected from the world just because of the fear of losing some values coming from ages. It's better to explain the importance of it rather just than um, banning other ideas to occur to us. Public opinion and the pressure coming of it don't change over a few days. But if they change, then only as a result of the struggle of strong individuals. Today, I'm not offering a specific solution really, but I believe that every time we speak about it, it brings us one step closer to the solution. And as it was in my case, another person's experience can be the very stimulus for you to prosper. And this is how the chain reaction begins. Gap year was just an example, one of the thousand reasons why we shouldn't hurry, why we should live our own lives, live it to the fullest, and instead of using some patterns created by society. We are the only decision makers of our own lives and the only ones responsible for our future. If you are a teenager, I hope this is an inspiration for you, not just to rush through your university, but to stand still, to take your time to stand still and develop yourself. Coming back to my story, as I said, it's not a story of failure. It's a life-changing realization that sometimes taking it slow can be more of a gain than a loss. It can be more of a success than just feeling lagged behind. No matter where you are in your journey, you won't get anywhere if you are rushing yourself into the ground. So it's the time to take a step back and assess what we are doing and where we are going. And we'll see then when we focus on the actual journey, the satisfaction is sure to follow. Thank you.